Hey folks, Quillyteen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play European Universalis 4 Imperial Italy. And in fact, we could potentially actually become an emperor relatively soon. We have two electors voting for us, and honestly, some of the others are not that unwilling to do it. Um, if we can just improve our relationship a little bit more and actually get some more diplomatic relation, uh, reputation, because that gives a pretty substantial bonus. Um to uh to the vote there there we go we got the plus two of course we are suffering from a minus three right now because if we can actually look at our own country because we have just annexed one of our subjects so that's actually making it a little bit harder to um to get those extra bonuses because it's a lot higher than you might think royal marriage with france has ended although they're offering a new one so please yes thank you um let's actually check our status right now um what i would like i think is probably to break off my relationships with Poland. And the reason I say that is because if we look at Brandenburg over here, we're not that far away. And if we can get an alliance with them, we can do that. But we have too many diplomatic relations. And one of these people hated Poland as well. Uh, what can we get here? We can get a military idea. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get the military technology. I'm not ahead of time. Perfect. Get that extra tactics, or not tactics level, but it did improve if we close this. Trade disputes, okay. Royal Marriage of Savoy ended. I think we want to keep that. I'm going to recall that diplomat. Yeah, it was fire and in and, and shock. Not bad. Not bad. And the weapons manufacturers we'll have to take a look at. Okay, Savoy. Actually, that's an interesting question. Maybe, if we're worried about too many slots, maybe we want to break off a relationship with Savoy. I don't think I do, because they are right next to me. And I think it makes a lot of sense to have them in as an ally. Poland is maybe stronger, although even then I'm not sure since Lithuania is independent. Poland is very far away. Yeah, if I'm going to do anything, I'm going to break off the one with Poland. So I'll go ahead and keep this relationship going with Savoy. I think that's going to be fine. Um, you're home from mines. Leaving the coalition. Nice. Who's still in a coalition? A few people. Nope, oh, the Papal States have left. Really? Oh, royal marriage with Poland just ended. That is super convenient. Because breaking a royal marriage costs me um, a stability until I finish diplomatic ideas, but breaking an alliance does not. So if I dissolve that, now the question is, um, Brandenburg. I don't have too many diplomatic relations. Ah, there, I'm very close, excellent. Uh, relationship could be boosted a little bit. Let's, let's start improving relations, and then send them a bribe, as soon as we're allowed to do that, on the 5th of June. We got another tick, send them a gift. How much to get 25? 23, okay, I mean, you know what, I'll take the 23 from 75. And there we go, they will ally. So not only does ally give us an even bigger relationship boost, but I believe it explicitly gives us an extra modifier for the vote as well. 17th of June. Boom. And they've accepted. Let me close all these screens. Yes, you have. And you'll royal marry me as well. Just out of curiosity, would you vote for me yet? Oh, yes, you would, actually. You haven't officially changed your vote yet. They can only change it so often, so there might be a thing there. Oh, are you offering me the royal marriage? How convenient. And uh, let's take a look here. So, yes. Not only do we have a much better relationship boost, but we get plus 30 from the alliance and plus 10 from the royal marriage. And that will be three electors our way. Austria, I need you to die. Like, any time would be super convenient, actually. Um, that's actually an excellent question. How much are we winning by? A lot. How much are we winning by here? A lot. That's Austria, but the next highest is actually Pomerania. I guess it compares you to the current emperor. Okay, so we're 100 ahead of the second place here. Here, we're only like 25 ahead. So I need to make sure that in Bohemia, we're permanently improving relations. And in Cologne, yeah, we don't have that high of a lead either. So we're just going to make sure we're permanently improving relations with both of these guys. We're going to maintain a diplomat over there, keep them locked in. Um... I'll go ahead and cancel the one in Hungary, just so that I've got a diplomat available for emergency actions and declarations of war and whatnot. I mean, the coalition has faded. Um, we could declare on Milan. Actually, that's an excellent question. If I were to declare war in Milan right now, a lot of people would jump in on my side. Aragon, Provence, Burgundy. Aragon and Burgundy. Now, France, 
France would come in. So that's good. I will get some aggressive expansion. You're not allied with anyone who would screw up my situation. No. This is very good. Let's do this. Declare war. Uh, I was not at maintenance. Anywhere. Army maintenance up. I mean, the time it's still actually not too bad because timing reasons. We've got our maintenance here and here and here and here. I'm actually not as afraid about Naples. They're not in a coalition. And they do have a CB against me. So they could theoretically declare war on me. Um, is it on Ancona? It is not. Actually, let me go ahead and drop that then to save a little bit of cash. How's my leaders? We've got our level ones over here. Money is still good, even with the maintenance up. Yep, all right. I could have moved my troops right against Milan and jumped on them in turn one. But I'm actually happy to start this war before something else goes. Ooh, we can stale a cardinal away from Brescia and move it to Verona. It'll piss off Milan. I don't need Spy Master. That sounds pretty good. Look at that. We got seven of them. Um, I actually, I don't think I'm going to be competing for the Papal Influence. I'm actually thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my prestige up nice and high. Which will have a lot of various benefits with our current situation. Okay. Actually, I should have put some forts up in Genoa here as a response. So far, so good. Okay, let's go ahead, move to Parma, move into Cremona over here, and actually, we'll probably just try to move directly into Milan. Bit of skirmishes going on. Um, it would be nice to just win the wars outright, but how many people are in here? A lot, actually. Just taking the war goal is helpful, but you know what? No. We're gonna we're gonna move up. This might work out okay. Actually, it looks like they've got plenty of manpower kicking around. But you know what? Let's let's overkill it. Let's rush in there just in case France gets some bad rolls. They've actually got the hill penalty, which isn't got. Um, we're gonna maintain our diplomat with Bohemia. Keep that maxed out all the time. Do we have three votes right now? We do. Oh, Mainz is flipping around. They've got two to Austria now. Still, we would be the next emperor as is. Again, if we can get um, if we could get Saxony to vote for someone else, although ideally not Austria. What's second place over here? It is Austria. Shoot. I was going to say, I think the Platinet would actually, they would switch to me. So that would give me four and three to Austria, which I guess would still be okay. So we've got a protective barrier in there. France should win that, but again, I'm going to be very happy to throw in some extra numbers. Because eh, it's a little tighter, that minus one terrain. There we go. We're not going in with a full morale, but we are going in there with a lot of people. Actually, we're losing some more numbers on our side, but we will ultimately win that battle, which is very good. Um, and I want to chase these armies down. Now, some of these guys, these are... Some of these are Milanese. So they're probably running back to their territory. So I will move in that direction. And we will try to siege up Milan proper. And I suspect at this point France can just take on um, Burgundy just fine. Of course, Aragon is still in the mix. That is still something. I think we're going to be okay. Actually, I don't know. Where are you running to? You're probably running to here. To Treviso. So, just go to Milan then to start sieging out their capital. Milan's my actual war goal because I need it to form Italy. Um, but Parma is the stated war goal, which means I need it for ticking war score. Also, I have a claim on it. I don't want to actually have a claim on Milan. This will, of course, give me some more aggressive expansion. Although, if I only take one province, Milan is really big, though. It's got, uh, what is it, development? Like, 55% war score. 43 development. Obviously, a very nice prize. I'm not going to siege out uh, Treviso. I mean, I might want it at some point. I might want to do that at some point, I should say. Uh, don't attach to this unit. But taking the war goal and taking the unofficial war goal would be really nice. We're going to maintain our diplomat with Cologne. Ooh, Bohemia. Competing great power. But you're still voting for me, right? Yeah, you don't actually like me that much. It's just you hate... Austria. Well, you're voting for 97. Legitimacy, prestige, this stuff adds up, man. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. 
I don't know. This war might ruin my chance to become the Emperor, although maybe we'll get it on the next crack. Apparently these uh, modifiers that I had for not being part of the same... Um, um, the same culture group are not quite as bad as I had anticipated. It's only plus five that Austria is getting out of it. Yeah, no, we can really make a really solid run at this. Uh, let's temporarily detach a few people. Go and smash that and come right back. Same thing here. We'll detach a few people, go there, and then smash that back. Oh, we don't need the attach. Also, I didn't realize... How many cannons did you detach? That is awful. Oh no, my navy! My navy! I wasn't paying attention. This whole time, my navy just got destroyed. Fuck. Did I not have the go home in time of war button on? Because that's what I needed to have on. Alright, a few minor skirmishes. Go back to the siege. See, so yeah, I'll have to rebuild my whole navy. Poo! I'll try to wait, I think, until I get to the next tech level. Oh man, that is really annoying. I did not notice this whole time. I was too busy shoveling some units around here. And worrying about my diplomatic situation. Okay, select army. Let's get an actual, more reasonable. Two infantry. One mounted. Go and smash that. Um, I don't want autonomy. That sucks. Ten years unless he dies. It's fine. France is the papal controller. Oh, well, that's a little annoying. Uh, rebels? Milanese pretender rebels. Jeez, Milan, get your shit in order. This is making my life a lot more complicated. How rude. I suppose I can leave these units here, actually. It'll complete the siege very quickly. <laughs> and if I can, I will try to remember to break some alliances here. And specifically, Aragon. It would be really nice if they were no longer allied to Milan. Um, same thing here. We're going to go ahead and break off a bit of a reasonable army here. Go over to Navarra. Smash them. And it doesn't have a fort, so you'll also be able to do the siege. Which will be quite nice. Meanwhile, my actual sieges of actual forts is coming along pretty well. And France is sieging stuff over here. There's a big Burgundian army over there that could conceivably cause some trouble. But not really. Okay. Um, I'll move into Brescia, just in case they leave. Well, I guess there's an actual fort here, so I wouldn't be able to actually just start sieging right away. Wouldn't have the troops, but that's alright. Actually, we might move from Parma into Brescia. Okay, good. Let's go and move in over there. Let's look at the full cannon bonus over here. We don't want to assault the walls. We don't have enough troops for that, really. And yeah, until the reinforcements come, actually, we won't have the um, the full five cannons, which is a little unfortunate, but not the end of the world. Boy, what I would like some siege leaders for. I love siege leaders at war, man. You save so much, so much attrition. Or Savoy over here. See, this is why you keep Savoy around, because they're a night buffer against other things. France is going to go in and attack. Wow, that is bad. Mountains and a river crossing. Unfortunately, I cannot go and reinforce you at this time. If Parma pops, then I'll be able to do that. Oh, I suppose I can throw a few troops. Detach as much as I can. Oh, it looks like actually they're going to be fine. Never mind. You're totally going to win. Okay. I mean, you did have a lot of troops, but mountains and a river crossing? Oof, that's rough. Also, 77%, really? Where are you going to run off to? Are you going to run off to Brescia? Nope. Oh, Treviso, probably. Yeah, it would have been nice to stack white, but that's okay. We'll get you soon. Just going to wait for this stuff to go through. We could make this a short war as well. I could literally just, like... Well, no, go, no, no. I got to take Milan. And it's worth 55% war score. Milan is my actual target here, because I do need it to form Italy. My Papal States are not involved here. It would be very nice. Okay. Well, sometime during my rule as the Emperor, I'll have to take out the, the Papal States and then form Italy. So, is that a lot of territory? We might be able to separate piece out Provence or something like that. Yeah, 54. Parma's not worth that much, luckily. Um, do I want to attack in here? I want this siege to finish, and I don't trust these guys. So, 
I'm going to go ahead and move in there, even though that means a lot more attrition. I just don't trust them. And then uh, move into the area down here, I suppose. Oh, I could maybe take out the little Ravensburg army. I like that. What is this? Woods and probably a river crossing. No, not from St. Gallen. No, it's okay. We'll go there. I don't have unlimited manpower. I have a good pool, although it goes away pretty quickly. I'm so pissed I lost all those ships because I wasn't watching, but... Well, that's what I get. Um, you are going to win that, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Ooh, that's awkward. Really? I can't go directly here? Now I think I could have. There anyway, we Just stop there. That's fine. This territory. Grassland. Oh, no. I'd much rather siege one in hills in case someone comes after me. I'll get a much bigger bonus. <clears throat> it is coastal, which means it'll be a little harder to siege. And right, I forgot we lost this occupation. Herp a derp. Because of the adjacent fort thing. Oh, well, that's okay. Finish the one in Brescia. That'll be good. Let them take Treviso. That's fine. France won't be interested in it. They should flip it to me as the war leader. If Austria was sieging that, they might keep it. But I actually don't care because I don't think it's going to make a difference one way or another. Mm-hmm. We still have a lot of enthusiasm. Length of war. Coalition war. Right. I forgot. Technically, this did fire the coalition, which gives them a big bonus there, which is going to be a pain in the ass. Okay. Got them basically all done. Um, gain prestige and stability. Piss off the Pope. Yeah, gain prestige and stability. Back up to plus three. 55 prestige. Don't mind that one bit. You're going to go there. Excellent. I like how this army's just sitting around. I think they defend it until the, um, the garrison gets an acceptable number, and then they leave. That's why the AI is pretty slow at sieging things. Burgundy's being sieged out pretty aggressively, which is nice. They still have a bit of an army. Uh, is Cologne in a separate war? Oh, no, no, they got called, called into mine. That's true. I forgot about that. How's my HRE status? Not bad. Still got the three. Uh, I don't need the morale of the navy. I think I'll just save the money, even though I could use the diplo points. I'm only making a buck right now. Yeah, so we'll wait. After the war, when we've got money again. Actually, I think I should be able to mothball on my forts. That's a good way to save some money. F1, 0. Mothball all forts, because there's no threats to the south here. So there we go. And Cologne. Well, I've got to call, be called in, obviously. Against the Platinet. But of course I have to listen. It would be very poor to not obey an Elector call at this point. Um, it doesn't really change that much. Cologne doesn't have a military is the biggest problem. So in that war, actually... Who's on our side? Cologne? Denmark. That's handy. Ferrara. Me. Um, I gotta finish this, really. But then I will try to go up there and see what I can maybe clear out. It's rough. Cologne's in two wars up there. Um, no. Let me hold off on that, because I'm gonna have to core some stuff. And it's gonna be a really expensive core. Really expensive. Uh, Milanese enthusiasm is still quite high. Very annoying. Where is he sieging some stuff out there? Burgundy wants to peace out. Yes, actually, that would be lovely. Oh, wait, what? They're actually offering me something. Oh, hold on. Annul treaties of Milan. Give me money. I mean, maybe I can negotiate something else here. I did not realize they were quite so hard up. I do like you. Annulling all treaties in Milan. The rest don't matter. Um, you'll give me a bunch of money. War reparations. What else were you offering? Annulling treaties and all your money. And that's it. So instead, I will take slightly more money. Annul your treaties and your income. So I will decline that. I'll do this. Remove Burgundy from the war. Nice. Okay, I like that. Is anyone else I can kick out of here? Ravensburg, can't set for peace because you're in a coalition and everyone else has got high enthusiasm. Okay, but that'll redirect France. 
and free up some of the trouble perhaps for um, Cologne. Okay, they might be coming at me here, although not with their full force right now. And keep up a relationship with these guys. Castile is the papal controller. That seemed short. Just me? I don't know. All right, we might go ahead and put a cut in here. Um, that's Cologne having run away. I think they're ultimately going to be okay. Ah, nice. Is France really going to jump in here? Well, it's only farmland, I suppose. So that's not so bad. We'll go ahead and reinforce. That might cause this army to move. In fact, it is. But I think we might be able to end this battle first. I'm not sure. No, I'm going to break that siege. Send some more dudes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Spaghetti-o. Ugh. Just crap all over. Um, I don't know this guy, I guess. So we have fewer numbers. We've got less morale right now. They actually have a higher base morale as well. That is bad news. France, what's your military tech? Only 10. Okay, they're only 10 as well. But we're going to lose that battle. Uh, we might be able to hold on for Savoy to show up. No, it's going to be lost regardless. I think I will let it tech all the way through, though, as opposed to running early. It's not going to make much of a difference either way. Ah, we might get that reinforcement, actually. And some more. Oh, alright. Well, I'm happy I didn't run early. We are going to be okay-ish. Maybe. They do have... Okay, now we're equal on stats. And a few random reinforcements. It's mostly going to come down to the rolls. We've got a slight lead. We've got a lot more cannons. Which is good, since we still have enough for front line. Wow, that is a huge win. Huge win. Um... Do I want to do a consolidate at this point? I'm not sure that I do. Tell you what, I'm going to consolidate my cavalry. There we go. Save a few bucks. And optimize the reinforcements to the front line and the cannons. Like the actual infantry and cannons. Um, and then I think I'll move back there. Provence, I don't suppose you'd be interested in uh, leaving this yet. Uh, maybe. You're at medium. Yeah, I like that. Annul your treaties with Milan. Give me war reparations. No, you won't do that? Okay. But you'll give me some money? A little bit? Some? No. Just annulling treaties with Milan. I'm I'm okay with that. We're going to get you out of here. Boom. I mean, I'll lose a little bit of war score. No, it, our percentage actually went up. Because I mean, we lose the war score from having Siege of Provence, but the percentage that we need for 100% has gone down because there's less stuff in here. We're now at 58. Listen... Oh, I don't have a diplomat. Listen, Milan. If I just wanted that, yeah. You don't. Uh, well, that would be nice. We, we're not having to rush out, though. I can get this, which is really good. In oh, it doesn't actually tell you the actual war score cost of vassalizing them. If Milan's out of the picture, though, at that point, it's 99. So if I take the province of Milan in this war. In a subsequent war, can I get this a blank screen? In a subsequent war there, 154, I will actually be able to vassalize all of Milan. And they're not an HRE member, so no one's going to cry too, too much. Hmm. So it would be nice to get a little bit more war score so that I can get them to break their relationship with Aragon as well. Although, you know what? It's actually not too bad. They're down to just Aragon. Maybe I just do end it. I mean, I can take more, but obviously I'm very worried about aggressive expansion. Uh, you know what? I would really like to humiliate them. And technically I can do that, because it's 40% to humiliate. They are my rival, right? Yes. And I would like the power projection very much. So we're going to continue the war, but that will have to wait until next time. Uh, you can stop. You don't have to go and siege out Provence anymore. Thank you very much for watching another episode, and I'll see you next time, folks. Bye-bye.